patterns under the pyramids. They seem to spread out from under the pyramid. When lightning or electrical discharge hits certain substances, you've probably all seen it, it makes like a dendritic pattern or, or a fractal pattern going out. Or uh, That's what we, do you see that there? That's what we, I'm convinced, have now. And it looks like this plateau was hit by major, major lightning strikes, but I don't believe atmospheric lightning, I think from a solar outburst. This may be why it's a sacred site. The Sphinx was possibly already there, was hit by it, but this made the whole site even more sacred. They built the pyramids on top of it. I'm convinced that there's probably older structures under the pyramids, but that's another story. Um, and I want to point out, I've got a little note to remind myself that there's other places where you get this same pattern of a major lightning strike in very ancient times and then monuments built on top of it, ancient structures. One is at Kalanish, or also known as Kalane in Scotland, where you have a megalithic um, structure built on what geophysically we now understand to have been a place where a major plasma or major lightning strike hit. So a lot of evidence to put that all together. So aside from all the isotope data, the moon data, the lunar data, the ancient vitrification, um, we also have petroglyphs as part of the archaeological record, which I think undoubtedly points to solar events and not impactor events, if I, I could use that term. Although one could argue that maybe impactor and solar events could be occurring somewhat simultaneously. Uh, why are the lights going <laughs> Um, so anyway, we have microspheres, like I said, biomass, um, black mats, all of that is compatible with a solar event, and plasma discharges hitting the surface can also cause craters. I want to point that out. We know that both from uh, laboratory data and from actual physical uh, uh, natural phenomena. Because I don't know if you realize that even small um, well, not that small, but atmospheric lightning strikes, can they cause craters? Absolutely. This has been demonstrated. I mean, it's been observed um, in cases where a huge lightning bolt hits, say, a parking lot, and then there's a big crater there, et cetera. And again, the atmospheric lightning bolt like that is nothing compared to what we're talking about in geologic time. So. Other evidence. This brings in Dr. Anthony Parrott, who is now retired and um, uh, no longer actively working on this, to the best of my knowledge. But when I first met him in about 2000, he certainly was, and he had started publishing on it. He is may arguably one of the most renowned plasma physicists in the world studying such things. And he was at Los Alamos National Laboratory uh, for uh, uh, certainly much of his career. And he was studying high energy, pl high energy plasma physics and what would occur when plasma discharges would hit different surfaces, what would occur when they hit the atmosphere, et cetera, et cetera. And the Los Alamos is in New Mexico for um, recreation, maybe. He would go out and uh, look around and look at petroglyphs. Everyone knows what petroglyphs are. It's not advancing for me. And he started seeing in the petroglyphs the same patterns he was seeing in the plasma lab with these huge experiments of high discharge plasma and computer simulations of what should occur. And that makes very distinct shapes. And he was seeing these on the petroglyphs. It's sort of think of the northern and southern lights um, being on, uh, you know, very, very, very um, intense. Um, some people would say on steroids. And he started seeing these patterns patterns, but also engraved on ancient, ancient petroglyphs. And he, his colleagues, got so interested in this, they start looking around in over 130 countries and finding the same patterns. Um, one of the definitive patterns is some people call it squatter man, um, but it looks sort of like a human with the legs and the hands up and the head, but these circles on the side. Do you see that? Real humans don't have that, yet he would find this around the world. What that is is um, what's known as synchrotron radiation that you would see in a plasma discharge situation.
And this is just a few pictures, nothing as intense as we would have at the end of the last ice age or even earlier than that. But do you see how it starts to take on shapes in nature as you have stronger discharges? Uh, this you know, in the upper atmosphere from maybe, a, you know, a major solar, uh, uh, you know, wind coming in. This is a graphic illustration from Dr. Parat uh, showing it. These are some of his uh, different diagnostic shapes. Notice that you have stick figure men with dots on their side, stick figure men with bird's heads, uh, cascading donut-like cylindrical shapes. Uh, just sort of get these in your mind. And then when you start looking, uh, these are some of his illustrations. Do you see how you get them around the world in all these different countries? Are they just all hallucinating the same thing with these floating dots on their sides? Are or, as he suggested, and I certainly suggest, they were looking up at the sky and seeing these things happen as there was a major solar outburst. Everyone with me? Um, and uh, notice bottom left, uh, I love those, the stick figure men with the bird's heads, because that is very similar to, if you look in the middle here on the bottom, how some of it would take a shape that looks like a bird's head on a stick figure. And then it goes on, and these are some of them, and then some of them go into multiple um, what look like arms, but that has to do, again, with the plasma configuration. Here's from Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates. These are from uh, Dr. Parat again. Uh, the, look, there you see the, uh, some of the stick figure men with bird's heads, and these are some that Katie and I uh, saw in Norway when I was there giving a presentation, doing some field work. Uh, uh, again, the same type of thing, and these are well dated, these particular ones, well dated, right to the end of the last ice age. Uh, they're on uh, where the glaciers scraped by uh, as the ice age was ending.